Guys, Margaret Thatcher was on it again. Margaret Thatcher with the new head of house. Oh my world. Margaret Thatcher, when are you going to stop quarreling with everybody in the house? I'm going to answer to you as a fool because you talk like a fool. You don't have sense. You quarrel with everybody in this house. Erica was the one saying this to Lucy. <laughs> Lucy was not saying that. Uh -uh, what did I do? What did I do? Then Erica was saying that you think I'm keeping quiet. I don't know what to do. I know what to do. I just don't want to answer to you because you are a fool. Oh my word. It's not my words. It was Erica's words. And then Lucy was calling Kidwire. And Erica was saying that, no, don't call Kidwire. Talk to me. I'm here. Talk to me. Why are you calling Kidwire? Talk to me. And Kidwire was trying to intervene. Then Erica answered that, Kidwire, don't talk. Don't talk. I don't want you to talk. Don't talk. Allow me to talk for myself. Don't talk. And do you know what happened? This girl, throughout today, I have seen that... She is not happy. Erica wasn't happy at all. On the whole, she was angry that Lucy was saying something that she did not like. How it happened was, Erica was asking Lucy something. And then Erica just got an answer from Lucy like, are you not the head of house? Are you not the head? Ask yourself. Hey, <laughs> So Erica was angry, but she said that she didn't want to talk because then they were in the same group and then she doesn't want to bring any problems so that they will not really focus on the game. And after the game, that was when Erica came to confront Lucy. Lucy, Erica, ah, the bus was, was just short and precise, but hmm, it was hot. It was hot. Erica was giving it to her back to back. And then Lucy was not even reacting that much. She was just busy talking. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Hmm, hmm. Lucy. Hey, hey. She was not talking. I think she was trying to control her temper. She was not really responding. And then Erica was still in the kitchen, still talking. Then she was just standing beside Erica in the kitchen, washing plates, and she was observing them. <laughs> but the fight did not really continue because Erica was the one ranting, and then Lucy was just busy there playing the game with um, Dorothy. She was not really talking. I don't know whether Dorothy was the one telling her to keep quiet or she just had to manage her anger today. So Lucy did not react that much but it was a fight but it was hot soft but hot <laughs> this is what we sign our money for <laughs> and erica went to the kitchen erica was trying to explain everything to kid wire that whenever i talk lucy is giving me attitude if i ask her questions she responding to me in a different way you know erica um is just new into the hoh and then lucy was there so there are things he was asking Lucy. Even yesterday, I've seen it. But the response Lucy gave her was not nice, and because she was just angry, angry over everything Lucy has been doing to her. But today, she said to herself that I have to confront this lady. I have to confront her. So eventually, the head of house has fought with Lucy. Guys, subscribe and watch the video and know how the game went through. Right now, the housemates they just finished doing their task, and the task was all about Guinness. I just want to analyze what V has done today. V is not really a team player. V always busts out whenever she lost. Sometimes she will make her mistakes in the field, and at the same time, she would put the blame on the other housemates. So today, as they were doing their task, V was not even okay with um, Lucy, because that's how everything started. I think I dropped their names down. Let me just call their names out so that you guys will know which team and which team was playing together um the first team was team hop i don't know i cannot even get the name right but i th think that the big brother told them to share themselves into groups and so it was a random picking um team hops dorothy nanji ozo prince tolani badge praise watoni and neo and then the other team is um v kidwire erica trickity kaisha v okay i've already said v lucy Brighto and Lekon. The Guinness Smooth Tax. I don't even know the names of the games because I basically I don't know how to play all those games. There were three games and then there were five rounds and each of the housemates participated. Where everything got me angry was where V was really kicking the balls to the post and then her balls were not really entering at the beginning. And that's how the other teams were cheering her up. But she, she said that they were laughing at her or they were mocking her. So that's how she just got angry. She was just ranting on, on the arena. I don't know what is wrong with V because me, sometimes I just feel like V is overreacting. Because if you have a team spirit, you should not react like that. Most of the time when she is in the arena, when they are doing arena games, she always defend herself by 
her mistakes. She always said that you would not cheer me up. You would not cheer me up. And when they cheer up, she'll be angry. When they do not cheer, she'll be angry. What V is really doing? So you guys should let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think about V? Do you think that V is a good team player or V is not? Because V was trying to tell Lucy that you are not a good team player. But at the end of the day, Lucy has tried. She has tried her level best. And I think um, there is something I have seen in Lucy. I know Lucy is very lousy. We all know that Lucy can talk. We all know that Lucy can do some side talks. But at the same time, Lucy always put her effort in the game. And I'm going to recommend Nenji also. She also did well. I'm going to give her a compliment. Um, I know that there are certain things Nenji knows how to do. And whenever that those things come up, Nenji always volunteered to go for that. And she was the one kicking the goal for the team hop which she have done at the beginning it was not easy for her but later do as they were cheering her up the positive vibes gave her to do more and then i don't know for now who win because it seems like um team v won but i don't know for now because big brother hasn't given them their resource yet and another thing i have noticed again is as from now on they will start to have misunderstandings because the team they have started creating will bring misunderstanding when, when one team wins, the other team loses. The other team is angry with the other people. And basically, the people who are soft-tempered, they will now show themselves. And one thing I have noticed in Dorati, her personality is very, very, very good. Outstanding. Why? Because Dorati, her self-esteem is very high. And basically, she has a positive vibe. Whatever comes to her, she always takes it in a good faith. And she doesn't like fighting. She even told me, Neo, that have you seen me fighting three weeks now how if you have you seen me arguing and i have realized that last week dorothy and the neo they had problem because of nengi and ozo's triangle whatever triangle they were in um now they have settled it yesterday and today v has got angry because of dorothy and it wasn't just her who was laughing most of them were laughing but she put all her anger on dorothy and she later went to the room she was discussing with neo telling neo that i don't know what's wrong with her I don't know what's wrong with her because that day she was even angry because Brito revealed the secret and Brito was so blunt to say his mind. I don't know what's really wrong with this lady, but she cannot come up to me. She cannot come up to me. She can just come up to Nenji. Why are you drinking Panadol for somebody's headache? Are you Nenji? You are, you are close to Nenji, but why are you fighting for Nenji? And Nenji is not arguing or quarreling with Dorati. Nenji has a good time with Dorati, even if they are not close, but yet still when they are in the same team, you will see that the positive vibe will still be there because they want to win. But V now is trying to be a victim between Nenji and then um, Dorati, and I don't like it. And then for Neo, Neo is a woman rapper. They said this to fraud, but Neo is the real approval. Neo like gossiping. So go to the room and be talking anyhow there, behaving as if he's not gossiping, but that's gossip. Because most of the time when something happens, up person to another to explain everything to that person and then at the end of the day neo will feel like he's not a snitch but he's a very big snitch because what he has done today i don't like it he's in the other group and all they have discussed in that group neo has come back to say to v and v is in the other group so why are you doing that neo how many times did i call you i can prosecute you for this so guys let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about neo Kaisha and then Praise, when they were playing the game, there was a misunderstanding, but Big Brother cried out. And I was so happy because the other team, they were underrating Kaisa to play. They were thinking that Kaisa cannot even play any of the game. But she did her best and then she made her team to be proud of her. So sometimes we underrate people, sometimes we neglect things, but it's not necessary. Because you don't know what Kaisa can do, you don't know what God can do give her is a game of chance anybody can win so you should not underrate anybody and then for lekon i'm saying lekon is a brain lekon lekon is a philosopher lekon lekon is intelligent lekon is smart i don't know what to say much about lekon because i know that he has a good team spirit in any team he is they are winning so i really appreciate him to that and that's what we want to see i want to see more of that not him thinking about erica let him just focus in the game the attitude i have seen him today i think that if he continues with this erica will know her position Erica was not by herself i think she's getting guilty or she's feeling like she's guilty of whatever has happened and lekon has moved on and you know girls when you don't give them attention anymore they feel guilty and that's exactly what is happening to lekon so if you are a victim like erica you better be careful of what you do to hurt someone because if you hurt someone it will bounce back to you 
and then if Lekon also is playing a script like as people are saying to um, Erica, it will bounce back to him. So nonetheless, it's a game. Let's have fun while it lasts. So Watoni, what can I talk about Watoni? Watoni, Watoni, Watoni. Anyway, Watoni, not much to say, sure. Prince is very competitive. I have seen that in him. And then um, this other guy, Ozo. Ozo was so mad. Ozo has lost when he went to um, perform for his game, for his um, team. And then he lost. He was so upset. And then he wasn't happy at all. Throughout the, throughout the task, he was moody. So that's how it's supposed to be. When you lose, you feel sad for a moment. Then you come back to your normal senses. So my dear brothers and sisters, this was all I have for this task. And I hope that you guys will appreciate this. Have fun and stay blessed. And subscribe to my channel. And don't hesitate to click on the notification bell. And then guess what? I love you all. And stay tuned. Bye-bye.